What's up, Coulter Hinchliffe from Aspen, Colorado, professional skier, and I film with TGR. Today I'm going to talk to you about the big picture. So today we're going to talk about getting the picture, and that's uh, encompassing everything when you get out into the mountains, looking up at the mountain, really getting the picture of the mountain, and deciding where those risks are. Hopefully you have some information from going to the Avalanche websites, um, and you should recognize where the hazards are, recognize where there could be avalanches while you're on that mountain that day, whether it's a freshly formed wind slab, whether it's warming on an eastern face, anything like that, you need to be able to get the big picture, recognize where those avalanches could be, and make a plan to avoid those hazards basically at all costs, because being in the wrong spot at the wrong time is when bad things happen, and having the big picture seeing where those are and avoiding them can mitigate those risks. A lot of times when I'm trying to film a line, it can be a fairly technical, gnarly line. And even if you're not trying to film just being out in the mountains and you're, you're trying to ski something sp specific, um, getting on top of it can be a lot trickier than you think. It looks so simple from the bottom and then you get up there and there's a rollover and you don't know if you're on top of the nice spine that goes into the clean apron or if you're over to the right on the gnarly spine with a huge cliff and a birch run underneath it. So having a picture of that really helps out um, and you need to hopefully have a landmark that you can identify with whether it's a big rock or a tree. Having shadows um, is something you can't really go off because that can change drastically in the few hours it takes you to get to the top of the mountain in the backcountry. Landmarks are very key to identifying your line and making sure that you're in the right spot rather than the wrong spot having that big picture of the, the whole mountain and recognizing where the hazards are and where you do and don't want to be is a very important part of staying safe out there. 